Hello there, this is Trugs for you or Nerdy Geeky, and today I, I'm, I'm putting this into the nerdy news section, but really this is actually more to do with Star Wars lore, and I want to clear something up. Um, I want to clear up the whole um, Palpatine talking to Anakin Skywalker about Darth Plagueis the Wise, um, although I don't think he was ever called that. Um, yes, Darth Plagueis the Wise was this big legend. He wasn't. In fact, he was still alive in Star Wars Episode One. Um, the whole story, some people got it, some people didn't. It was the whole, I am your father. But it's, the Episode 3, it was done in Star Wars Episode 3, it was off. It was badly done in the sense of the actual storyline behind Palpatine and Plagueis. So Darth Sidious is Darth Plagueis' apprentice. And and you can actually read the book, Darth Plagueis. Um, and I haven't read it yet, but um, I do want to read it. It sounds actually quite interesting. Uh, but basically, yeah, Darth Plagueis is Darth Sidious's master, and Darth Plagueis actually sets everything in motion for, for for Palpatine to become Supreme Chancellor, and then eventually they take over the Empire together. But of course, as the Sith do, I don't know why Sith train other Sith because it's the whole Sith law to kill your master to become like a Sith Lord. So you're basically kill, you're basically training someone you know is going to try and kill you the whole time. So I I don't really get that. I don't understand why they would do that. But anyway. Um, Darth Plagueis was so strong with the Force, he could manipulate the midichlorians. I hate using that word, but he could con basically he could he could um, control the Force within people that he could keep them alive or actually bring them back from the dead. And that is true; he could do that. He wasn't an old timey Sith myth. He was still alive in Star Wars Episode One. I think he died. I think he was killed between Episodes One and Two when um, when he becomes. Um, uh, Chancellor uh, Palpatine uh, rather than uh, Senator Palpatine uh, but yeah, the whole Star Wars Episode 1, 2, and 3 was actually Darth Plagueis' idea um, and, uh, and and Darth Sidious or, or, or Palpatine was actually just the front man um, doing it, but yeah, Darth Plagueis was a, was a mun, um, you know, the same as the banking clan uh, species and he was uh, he was around. I think I think they may have even snuck him into the film, although they don't credit him as being in there. I think they may have actually snuck him into the film of Star Wars Episode One in the background somewhere. But that could just be completely made up by me on the spot right now. Um, but yeah, basically, Darth Plagueis once boasted that he was so powerful with the Force that he could bring the the foretold the one he could bring the, the one into the galaxy the you know the one that would bring balance to the force and um basically make him the ultimate sith so one day him and palpatine or him and sidious i should say darth sidious they sit down and they do this whole ritual and this meditation and they sit there and they try and create the one and it fails so or so they think and if you haven't tweaked on by now you might have tweaked on that when they did that they actually created Anakin Skywalker in the womb of Shmi Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker doesn't have a father. He was conceived by the Force. He is made of the Force, and the Force is his father. But, technically, Darth Plagueis and Darth Sidious are kind of like his joint fathers because of the because of the ritual. Maybe more Darth Plagueis than anybody else, but Darth Sidious had a hand in his creation. Darth, Darth Sidious is he, one of his fathers, he is all a father to him, and he becomes a father figure to him all the way through episodes one, two, and three with that bonding that they go they go through. So, so yeah, episode three and that that whole scene is is actually kind of Darth Sidious saying, "Oh, Anakin, I am your father." Um, yes, it was Darth Sidious that, that 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 killed Darth Plagueis. Yes, he is powerful enough. I don't think he I don't think he actually knows how to keep himself alive forever. Um, but he certainly does know how to heal and keep himself alive. He can't stop people from dying. It's complete crap that he tells Anakin so Anakin will join the dark side. But it was a great way to see Anakin fall, and it reinforces Yoda's whole, you know, attachment leads to the dark side, you know, fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering, you know. You know, Anakin was afraid that uh, that Padme was going to die, which she did because of his own actions, um, that she was going to die, that led to him being angry at the Jedi, and, and angry at the situation, and angry at himself, angry at the whole world. And that led to hate, and eventually he hated the Jedi for their inaction. He hated the Jedi because he thought they were trying to take over the Senate. His mind was warped by the, you know, uh, the Chancellor Palpatine, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, who eventually turns to the Darth Sidious, and then eventually bows down and becomes Darth Vader. I liked Episode Three. 
out of the out of the prequel trilogy, Episode Three is the best film, and I think a lot of people would agree with that. Although it doesn't hold up to the originals, I also think that Star Wars Episode Three, and you are going to shoot me when I say this, is better than Star Wars Episode Four because Star Wars Episode Four, after you've watched it a couple of times, it is actually a little bit dull. Like Luke Sky, and it's just unbelievable. Luke Skywalker, it just he sees his he sees the burnt rotting carcasses of his aunt and uncle and doesn't even bat an eyelid and then old Ben gets killed and he's weeping over it Alderaan gets blown up in front of the billions of people who have just been wiped out including the only family that Leia has ever known and she doesn't barely bat an eyelid as well she's like but I'm okay and then um, you know you know and then she's in a cell and she's like Oh, aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? It's like, what, you're wisecracking like five minutes after Alderaan and all your family and friends and the billions of people on that planet have been killed? No. I mean, if Earth got blowed up and I was, like, in the Death Star, I would be hysterical. I would probably kill Tarkin myself, to be honest with you. But still, um, the, what we can take away from that scene is that's probably the only hug she ever had from her real father. Um, but, yes... I think Star Wars Episode 3 was almost a little bit better than Star Wars Episode 4, but I respect Star Wars Episode 4 a lot more than Episode 3 because it was the first in the whole franchise and it, it had a lot to bring into it. Um, so, yeah, the, the whole scene anyway with Senator Palpatine and, um, I'm sorry, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine or Darth Sidious and, and, and Anakin Skywalker was, I am your father. Um, they created Anakin, he does become the one, and he does bring balance to the Force. It is not Luke Skywalker, like people believe, and that is going to be the subject of my next video, please feel free to watch that, how Luke Skywalker is, is misinterpreted to being the one and not Anakin Skywalker, where it was actually Anakin Skywalker. Please feel free to tune in to find out why Anakin Skywalker was actually the one. Thank you for watching.